Oh my God, I just caught probably the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. All right, well, good morning, everybody. I am glad that you are back with me watching a video. I have been super backlogged on getting videos edited and out, but hopefully we're on the up and up on that. It's just been hard to find time. Now, today's fun. We are fishing a tournament on Douglas Lake, which the pre-fishing video that you saw before this was the first time I'd ever been on Douglas, period. So today is a follow-up to that. That was two days ago. Caught them pretty good, but I caught them mostly on a Texas rig Cinco or a stick bait. I used a few different ones. So it didn't really seem to matter. And uh, it's supposed to be really windy today, so probably that's probably gonna bust out on us. And I never really got a good moving bait bite. I got, you know, some topwater action, but most of those fish didn't get the bait. So I don't know, we're just gonna go fishing, um, try and just get locked in, cover new water. Uh, we're probably gonna be pretty crowded at this ramp. It's a fairly popular area. So I'm just gonna try and cover a lot of water and hopefully it works out for us so we can catch some fish. That's the goal is just to catch five and just have a good time doing it. So appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. Hit that thumbs up for me if you will and uh, subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you out on the water. Good morning guys. We are out on the water on Douglas and um, I'm excited. It's tournament day. We made it out here. It's about nine minutes till line's in. It's 5.51. Line's in's at uh, six this morning which is kind of odd um, it's gonna be still dark now I fished two days ago which you guys saw had a pretty good day and did most of my damage on a stick worm Texas rig like Cinco and uh, I think we're gonna have a wrench in our plans today because the wind is supposed to get up pretty good and we've already got a breeze and those of you that fish which most likely if you're watching these videos <laughs> you fish um, know that that finesse fish lightweight you know dragging it on the bottom is so hard to do in the wind because you get those big bows in your line and stuff so we're gonna have to find a moving bait bite now as you can see we're just shy of 66 degrees or right at 66 degrees water temperature and uh, that's pretty close I think it's a degree degree and a half colder than what it was two days ago which it got down to like 45 last night but uh, we're getting close to shad spawn. When you start hitting 70 degrees, you start getting uh, you know, close to those shad spawning. And I did see 70 degrees before I left the other day. So I think if, in order for us to have a good day today, we need to catch a couple or three fish on that top water. And that would really take a lot of pressure off. And then we can need to try and find us a moving bait bite or find us some spots that's a little more protected from the wind, you know. A little bit of wind is good, but not a lot when you're catching them the way I was catching them. So I guess we'll see, you know, every day is different, but uh, hopefully we can catch them. I'm gonna start with top water, run my buzz bait and my walking bait, and hopefully we can stick a few. Six o'clock, let's go. Make good decisions. We gotta start. God, those hooks are hard to get out.
Well, I don't think you guys saw this one because GoPros are junk, but uh, 1475, it is 640, so Cinco fish. We're just gonna glue it to our hands until we can't throw it anymore. Cast with this and we're moving. Oh my god, I just caught probably the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. It's a giant smallmouth. I was not expecting a smallmouth right there. At all. Look at that small mouth. Not quite my PB small mouth, but it is close. It's four and a quarter pounds, 20 and a half or 20 and three quarters, I'm not sure, but that's the right kind of fish right there. Look at that. All right, see you later, buddy.
Not the right species. Nasty ways by the end of the day. I was really wanting to go across the lake in a good way. Whatever that is, is big. That's probably not a bass. drum damn it We needed that, boys. Ain't a big one. By no means. But, it's a bass. He's lively. Thirteen the quarter. Not exactly what we need, but it's a fish. It's number three. There we go, number four. That's more along the lines of the fish we need. Not a giant, but bigger. It's all tattooed up too. It's a 15 something. Uh, it might be 14, three quarters, something, maybe 15. Fifteen incher. Catching them all. I caught a few. How about you guys? Caught, yeah. It's uh caught a big small mouth this morning and then everything else has been, you know, fifteen inch large mouth or something. Yeah. I like a big small mouth. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're mean. Three pound small mouth like catching eight pound large mouth. Like yep, it is. That one was a big one. He was almost twenty one inches. He's like four and a quarter pounds or something. Oh, yeah. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. I I caught it on spinner bait, but uh, that was early this morning when some of those shad were spawning. Yeah. 
I, th I saw it spinnerbait in that uh, shad spawn. Tore my spinnerbait all to pieces. Yeah, they usually do. <laughs> it mangled it good. Once again, junk GoPros, but I think I got it on the chest. But look at this smallmouth, another one, 20 plus inches. Giant, Cinco. I was afraid I wasn't gonna get him in. three and three quarter. All right, guys. This is kind of a mid-morning update here. It's almost 1030. So we got four hours left. And we've had a good morning. I've got two really big smallmouth. Uh, one 20, one like 20 and a half or 20 and three quarters. And then I got like three dinks. So... I think we're still like low 80s but if we could cull out you know at least two one or two of those three that i've got we could really have something special today now the issue i've got is this little area that i'm in is really well known um apparently i mean i've had boats around me all morning that second smallmouth i caught was i don't know an hour ago and i had like four boats that could see me land that fish that close so that's an issue obviously i can still catch them uh, i was catching them on that cinco but as you can probably tell the winds really picked up and i noticed a lot of those guys were throwing a spinner bait and that's what this conditions call for but i don't want to be going behind guys the rest of the day throwing the same thing they're throwing that's just not me the main lake is nasty right now with wind and my plan was to kind of cross the lake and go into marina and it'd be more protected but i don't know with how bad the lake is you know what that's going to look like so I'm going to spend the next 30 minutes 
covering this little pocket right here. When I get back in here, the wind dies down enough to where I can probably fish that Senko some. So I'm gonna fish in here for the next 30 minutes to an hour and then I'm gonna make a decision. So we'll see. And GoPros are junk, if I haven't said that enough yet today. That's an upgrade. It's like a 14 inch problem. 14 and three quarters, that'll help. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's a call or not. If he is, he's not much. Definitely not a call. Thirteen and a half inches. It's a fish though. He's got a cull tag in his bottom jaw. Let's just make sure he's not 15. He'll actually help us just a tiny bit. 15 even, it's a quarter inch cull. Might call, I don't know. Nope. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen and a half. the water it's 245 says it's gonna be a five minute drive to the meetup so we're good on time but man I really have zero complaints with today I feel like I needed to upgrade one or two of those fish to really have a, the best chance at winning uh, but with that said we got a chance anytime you catch you know 220 inchers basically and uh, you know fill out a nice limit of like 15 inch fish it's a good day so 
all in all pretty happy um, once again the Senko kind of did work I'm really happy to have caught the fish that I did because you know I don't know how the video is going to turn out because they had GoPro issues again uh, these newer GoPros are just awful but um, I had boats around me all day long. Um, the main spot I was wanting to pick apart and fish, I mean, I saw a dozen boats. There was a dozen different boats that went in and out of there. And when I caught that second 20-inch smallmouth, I, I mean, I had an audience. There was like three or four boats close to me when I caught that fish. So um, all in all, we did really, really well. I caught a few on the spinnerbait. That first big smallmouth absolutely mangled that spinnerbait and then uh, the Senko. I think the reason we did so well was just being able to fish that Senko really slow behind these other guys because the majority of them you know you pay attention to what they're throwing and uh, there was a lot of spinnerbaits getting tossed around today so I, because of that I was trying to find places I could throw my worm out of the wind and uh, didn't quite you know follow the plan I wanted to going across the lake but I think all in all, I have, it's hard to have any complaints with today. So let's go to the meetup, see how we done, and I'll check back with you guys.